So I decided just to split the video up into a couple of parts and just gonna paint a little bit more on this now. First things first, first I want to get rid of these seams. Let's go ahead and smooth them out a little bit.
Right, okay, so I'll just deck it up there. The fuse a good bit. No, I just want to add some specular parts to this, so if I add an earlier. Um, Standard blend, and then I work on specular and also. So, what I want to do is have a dark color, a dark tone, really dark tone for cutting areas in to the diffuse, like cutting in black but bringing the specularity up quite high. So, if I just do a really small brush and just scrape up some of these edges, uh, just bring the opacity up a bit. So, they should be when the light's not hitting them. In fact, I need to tie these two together so blend. They are diffuse. Okay, that's better. This way, it should let me paint in black. Plus, add diffuse blend. Link the spec map. Oh, okay. A little bit of an error there. Yeah, I'll just carry on painting these in. So if I move the light around, it should be getting shiny. Yeah, just go to time with get a big brush on those tips. Kinda does help that the UVs aren't perfect. need to watch that I don't go overkill with it, that you see the brush strokes, especially in a specular map, but I can definitely fix it in Photoshop. Just uh, a little bit of shine to these. Scene, then I should be able to see when I move the light around some shiny areas. So 
that will do it for now. I'll just export the diffuse. And the specular map. So back into Photoshop. I tend to be bouncing around quite a lot here. Um, so just close it all. Uh, but I'll yeah, just close it all. Close that one. three back in. This was the work on the spec map. So if I add another layer and I'll just kind of make a custom one as well. I'm going to mix the AO back in with this one. If it decides to let me. Okay. Hmm. Certain keys aren't working. hell is that red? <laughs> yeah. There's a few memory problems at the minute. <coughs> there we go.
Okay, so I've got a diffuse and I've got a specular. Um, I'm going to grab the diffuse and now I'll multiply that in with the spec. Let's go for something that keeps it grayscale. That's nice. Not sure about all these lines though. That's a really good one. Luminosity. Right. Let's bring that right down. To about there. Okay. Oh yeah, these lines are just padding. Done automatically. I'll go with that. There's visible and I'll sharpen up a bit as well. Sharpen. Smart sharpen. That's pretty spot on. And I'll save that. PNG. And that'll be called spec. So I'm just going to grab the ambient occlusion and multiply it back in with the diffuse again. Add some more contrast. Just blur it out a little bit. Okay. Not visible. Now I'm tempted to just draw in some dark areas around about this, so Get a decent brush. Scar texture transfer. Now, because <coughs> I'm screen recording, um, I can only tap. I can only tap draw. So, it's fine for this. All I can do is tap. <laughs> so I want to draw some really dark tones here. Let's make sure I'm in the right layer, yeah. It's not ideal drawn this way, but <coughs> that should really help. Make it a bit bigger, why not? blow that out a little bit. Like so and merge visible. And I'll save that as 
the diffuse. Okay, so I've got a good spec map and I've got a good um, diffuse map. So from those, I'm going to make a normal map. Um, mix it with the other one. So I've got to open the normal map up. Grab a spec map. Paste that over there. Gonna add so it lets me move down. Okay, layer arrange. Um, can't even move these layers up. I'm just wondering if there's a better way. I'll just pause the video. Okay. So I'll just get a mid grey there and I'll fill the background with that. I uh, kind of want to portion out each of these channel then yeah just like that and I'll merge merge visible and then filter uh, image adjustments saturation and just take the saturation away filter sharpen smart sharpen and just a little amount just a tiny little bit and let's go to x normal height uh, normal height to normal maps uh, yeah know what I want okay and then if I find the original one there I'll grab this and paste it over and change this to overlay I can calm that down a little bit there another layer and give that a mid blue uh, 127127255 and I fill that there we go so I can now tame that down a little bit as well That gives me a half decent normal map to use. So I'll just save save that as PNG to give you the T there and that can be the normal map. PNG save. Okay, so they're still all twenty four eight texture size. It's quite a big file. Big size texture I think these can all be 1024 but I'll give it all a test first so got that can reload it it's reloaded already but uh, specular level <coughs>
and you can see how rough that texture is um, almost looks made of rock yeah. um, the metal looks good could be a lot more shiny which I can control later uh, in the game engine but that looks pretty metallic so far I'll probably bring the bump down 50 best thing to do here is throw in a light if I didn't keep moving the thing away from it I would actually see what it was doing So I'll likely soften up the normals just at this part. So what I'll do is I'll just begin to rub out uh, rub out areas. So I'll just pause the video while I do that so that I can actually get functionality here. Okay, so I've just taken out all the roughness that part left it in other areas there we go so it's smoothing that out now let's take the light away And that looks pretty good. Um, quite happy with the way that looks. And you see this, the, the display of the normal is a bit wrong here. It's fine when you render it. So uh, let's see if we can suss that out. Some flipping going on maybe. Yeah. Either way, it looks good. Okay, now I can probably res down the textures. So, adjustments, image size 1024. I'll get a bit of smoothing from it, which would be ideal. Almost forgot there. Yeah. Okay. And some bits here are a bit drastic. I could do with fixing those just now. So let me be right back. Okay, so give it a good mix up there. That should help it to look good. And I uh, shall save that.
a tiny bit of uh, reduction in brightness. Just add some contrast as well. Right, ten twenty four and ten twenty four. Should be good enough to send to the boss. Uh, he can update me on anything that he doesn't like about it. But for now, that's pretty good. So let's do a couple of high quality renders. turn two sided on with the material here just so you can see the inside as well okay render that uh, and that looks pretty good so yeah not too shabby should do for the, the game. Um, it's only going to be about maybe that size in game. So it's got plenty of detail. Okay, that's enough for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed. Watch me texture this uh, parachute or mine. Catch you later. Bye.